Hi, this is Chris and Ladybug Company. And if there's one plant that just gets massively infested with aphids, that is particularly good to use lady beetles on, it is artichokes. And in the fall, in California is a big time for artichokes. And a sure sign that your artichoke plants have a small but growing aphid population is when you look around and you find ants. And unfortunately, I don't think we have the camera ability to capture all the ants that are in here. And you'll see in your own garden on artichoke plants and other vegetables, when you have ants moving around, you have aphids. The ants are farming the aphids, the ants are eating the aphid poo and protecting them. And you may not see a lot of aphids, but that's the ideal time to use beneficial insects. Waiting until your plants are covered with covered with aphids is not a great time to use your beneficial because they can't keep up with that level of infestation. At that point you may have to take a lot of water, some insecticidal soaps and knock the population down. You can see I've got my bag of lady beetles open. I'm gonna scatter them around. No major uh, science behind this other than waiting till late in the day and scattering them usually at the base of the plants where they'll walk from the ground up finding the aphids. Many times the early stage of an aphid infestation the aphids are going to be deep in the tender growth but down here in the base where these um, branches are coming up out of the artichoke plants. Same thing if over on the other side we have broccoli Aphids are not going to be at the top of the leaves. They're going to be down there at the base by the blooms, by the tender new growth, drinking the juice out of there. And you can just take your lady beetles or in the cedar or pine fir chips, toss them over there. They'll be on it like a tick on a hound dog or a ladybug on an aphid.